Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us today for a sneak peek inside Vive for partners, sponsors, and supporters. We're excited to hear from our speakers, Keith Freidenberg and Rich Scarfo, to offer their insights and answer any questions you may have regarding Vive. Before we get started, we'd like to cover a few housekeeping items. All attendees are and will remain in listen-only mode. We will have time for questions at the end of the presentation. Please submit your questions at any time via the Q&A function, and we will do our best to get all questions answered after the end of our conversation. We are recording this webinar and will make it available on the Health and Chime websites by the end of the week. Thank you, and I'll turn it over to Rich Scarfo, President of Health, to get us started. Thanks, Eddie, and thanks everyone for joining us today. Uh, we're really pleased to bring you a little bit about what Vive will be in March of 22 and come together with our friends at Chime to offer a glimpse of what we're creating for you. I'm Rich Scarfo. I'm the president at Health, which you will learn a little bit more about today in our time with you. Um, my path here has been filled with experience on both the technology and the health fronts. I started my career at the Consumer Technology Association with CES. I spent many years at NIH as an executive with their foundation. Uh, I launched and ran the Personal Connected Health Alliance and the Connected Health Conference. And all of this really set me up for my best role to date. That's my time here at Health. Uh, in my role here, I focus on new product development and strategic partnerships, um, all really focused on advancing both the company and the industry. And that's what led us to our partnership and relationship with Chime. So with that, I'd love to turn it over to my friend Keith and he can tell you a little bit about himself. Thanks very much, Rich. Uh, I know you're excited to be here as I am and uh, ready to get, get right at it and start uh, talking more about Vive. Uh, a, a quick introduction first, I'm Keith Freidenberg. I'm the Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer uh, with Chime. I've been with Chime actually over two decades. So I've been serving and supporting uh, healthcare CIOs and senior digital health IT leaders uh, for about as long as I can remember. And uh, it's just a passion uh, that, that uh, you know, I've developed over my 30 year career in health IT. Um, we're excited to be here with you uh, to talk about Chime and Health, but more specifically to talk about Vive. And uh, on behalf of Chime, I wanna thank all of our Chime Foundation partners who are here with us uh, as well as those potential partners out there who maybe uh, don't know who Chime is. We look forward to sharing a little bit more about who we are, uh, but more importantly, talking more about Vive and what it's all about. With that, Rick, I think we have a video. I agree, Keith. Um, we're really putting a lot into making this event special and the video is just a little bit of uh, uh, advance sneak peek of that. I think we wanna talk a little bit about uh, health and chime. That'd be great. Um, I can start with health if you'd like. So what is health? Uh, first of all, it's spelled H-L-T-H, but it's pronounced health. We get that a lot. Uh, we started as an annual event, really focused on bringing together the entire health community. Um, it was focused on health innovation and transformation and the development of a better ecosystem. 
Um, at our peak pre-pandemic, we were convening just under 7,000 executives from payers, provider systems, employers, um, VCs, government, <coughs> Uh, startups, and that was all at our October event. Uh, as a company, we're headed into our fourth year now, and we've expanded our portfolio of offerings to really help create a unique marketplace. And you know, in that portfolio, we have our weekly webinars. We do bi-weekly spotlight announcements, which are key industry announcements that we push out to our entire community. Uh, we have a thought leadership series dinner uh, that is coming back now. We have our health expert network. And something we're very proud of is the Health Foundation, which we officially launched about a year ago, and that promotes and supports equity, inclusion, and opportunity in all facets of healthcare. And with our health event coming up in October, you'll see a lot of that present there, and we'll bring some of that to Vive as well. Um, what is also key in all that we do is really our focus on senior executives and the C-suite. Um, and also an experience that we try to make different and enjoyable and also custom in most cases. And that's something we, we pride ourselves in is we want all of our constituency to actually enjoy being with us and then want to return. Um, and we're happy to bring a lot of this to Vive. Thanks, Rich. <clears throat> so, uh, my, I, I, you know, I'm looking forward to the opportunity to talk a little bit more about Chime because I know we have a number of potential partners here who maybe haven't had an opportunity to engage with CHIME in the past. When we, when we speak about CHIME or the College of Healthcare Information Management Executives, we're really talking about uh, two not-for-profit organizations that exist to mutually support each other. Uh, the first of which is CHIME, which is the really the professional home for the world's top digital leaders transforming health and care. Uh, Chime also supports many specialized healthcare leaders in security and technology and application roles. But what's unique about Chime is it's a qualified membership uh, organization. So our members reflect the highest ranking IT executive, often a CIO, but not always a CIO. Uh, we have many digital health related roles out there. Uh, so these are the decision makers from the provider continuum of care. We have more than 3,000 members across 56 countries, including 11 global chapters. Uh, but, but more important than that is the Chime philosophy. It's not that we talk about 3,000 members. We talk in terms of having one member 3,000 times. And that's, that's really our approach. It's, it's about the relationships. It's about being dedicated exclusively to serving and supporting uh, a, a very unique group of executives who have amazing challenges on their hands today as uh, the entire industry around the globe is transforming uh, um, health and care uh, and moving digital at accelerated pace. Now, on the other hand, we have another organization, a sister organization that Chime, if you will, called the Chime Foundation, uh, also a not-for-profit, but this is the home that provides um, healthcare IT vendors and service providers and consultants and professional services organizations, uh, the opportunity to have really unparalleled access to Chime's members uh, through both digital and in-person collaborations, including Vibe, which we'll, uh, we have an opportunity to talk much more about today. And so Chime and the Chime Foundation exist to mutually support each other. Uh, we do so at an executive level, uh, and we do that by building strong relationships and creating opportunities for executives and decision makers to come together to solve challenges and solutions. And we've got some big challenges out there in the industry, and uh, Vibe wants to be part of the solution and bring the right stakeholders together, both for Chime and, and Health. We're looking forward to doing that. I think next up, we wanted to uh, to move on to a different topic here and, and talk about our partnership. Rich, it's, uh, I don't know, Rich wouldn't allow me to put the uh, the visual up here, but think when Harry met Sally, right? When, when, when Health and Chime met each other, uh, something special happened. We'll talk a little bit about sort of the early beginnings, but I think it's important to think about, you know, our approach in the partnership or the relationship between Chime and Health is really like our approach with Vive. Um, it's built on mutual trust and respect and really an understanding of what each organization uniquely brings to the table to the partnership to better serve the overall healthcare community as a whole. Together, uh, we're stronger than we are, uh, each of us, Chime and Health individually. What really started with just sort of a small collaboration at Health 2019, um, I, I think what we saw, we immediately recognized some synergy that was rapidly developing between our teams, but also between 
the organizations. It's really about alignment of mission, uh, alignment of overlap of core values, and the communities that we're trying to serve. Yeah, yes, uh, Chime and, and Health both bring unique, unique aspects to that, but it's that mutual intersection between Chime and Health that I think really speaks to the, uh, the synergy and uh, the natural fit that we've derived. Rich, any words like you'd like to share on the partnership? I think the unique piece for us is that, you know, Chime comes at it as a, a membership organization, which is really important to us and health is coming at it as an ecosystem platform. And I think we both bring really unique things to the table that are different from each other. And, you know, as you mentioned, we're bringing pieces of our own audience and hopefully a new audience together. And, uh, you know, with all of the content focus areas of Chime and the experiential approaches with health, we think it's a, the perfect partnership. And Keith and I have actually had experience, go we go back many years before our time <laughs> at, uh, at health, so it, it's it, it just felt comfortable from the start. It's a small industry, as we know, right? Everybody talks about that, but in fact, it isn't true. And many of us know each other from, uh, from our past. But it's a it's a great partnership, and I think it speaks well to the opportunity uh, and the excitement around five. Yeah, so with, I mean, we can talk about what we're putting together is, uh, well, you know, the Vive experience. Um, you know, Miami was chosen as, as our city because we wanted to offer not only a different event, but a, a, a really a different experience. And we're coming at this with the premise of if we can't make it different and we can't make it matter, then there really is no point in doing it. So our focus all the way through uh, we'll be creating a very different experience. Um, you're going to get the best of health and the best of chime as we develop our inaugural event. And we're, you know, I call it an event, but it's really a platform. And it's important to us that it's a platform for the industry. And Vive will combine a very efficient business growth opportunity and curated networking with um, our program, and which will have market insight and, and a lot of educational content. Um, you know, Keith mentioned respect and relationships, and it's really important that all of our constituency, whether it's an exhibitor, a sponsor, an attendee, a partner, a speaker, really feel that is the vibe approach. Um, much like health, our other event, we really want to focus on pivoting from the, you know, what we call the traditional trade show model, right? It's it's time for uh, a new approach. It's time for one that is evolved and really meeting people where they are. Um, you know, Vive will rec really recognize the, the needs of, of, of sponsors and exhibitors and partners, like I mentioned, and really including the attendee experience as well. Um, that's not always something that is front and center when you're putting together a new event, um, but it's really important to us. And, you know, we'll deliver custom activations to meet a lot of our constituents where they are um, and have them help shape our product in different areas. So it is more representative of not what we think the industry needs, but what the industry is saying that they need. Um, so we can break it down a little bit and talk about the different contents. You know, overall, and you, you hopefully saw that in the video, Vive will bring a very exciting and warm, creative approach. Um, Disruptive is, is uh, maybe an overused word, but it's something that we're focused on and definitely a tailored feel, uh, especially with our sponsor activations. And, you know, we view it as a platform, as I mentioned, um, it will offer integrated experiences where it feels as one event, which is what it will be. Uh, we'll have content from, from Chime and from Health. We'll have member-based content. We will have partner content. Um, some of our key elements that we'll deliver, especially for the sponsors, uh, starts with our hosted buyer program. And that's something that is unique right now to our health event, but we're happy to bring that to Vive. Um, it's one-to-one -one matchmaking and curated networking. And we bring together buyers uh, from the healthcare industry together with our solution providers, which are the sponsors and exhibitors at the event. And these meetings will take place over a period of three days. Um, at Health, we generally run about 4,000 meetings, and we see it as a really efficient use of time, which is really important. We want 
we want the sponsors and exhibitors at Vive to really spend time meeting with their customers and making new relate forging new relationships. Uh, in addition to the hosted buyer program, our event design overall uh, will be very carefully considered and we'll have a format that encourages productive encounters, um, a little bit of fun, uh, a strong business environment and makes people enjoy being at the event. Uh, events aren't always the thing that people enjoy going to. We make sure with ours that uh, people have a great time. Uh, the expo floor, that'll be another area that will be a little bit different uh, very experiential. Uh, it'll be thoughtfully designed. We are, our goal is to really stay away from, you know, massive booths. Um, we want meaningful activations on the floor. We'll have themed areas and pavilions that we'll partner with other leading associations on, uh, as well as key topics that are important and, and really front and center in the industry. Um, our approaches for sponsors and exhibitors will be one that tries to meet them where they are. We'll have a lot of custom and turnkey activations if that's the, the path that companies choose to go. Um, if they'd like to bring their own booth, that's fine too. Uh, one thing we'll be doing for the attendee experience and to really advance uh, different topics and, and, uh, and, and brands, company brands, is custom lounges that we do throughout the event uh, and interactive uh, activations. Uh, we'll also have content on the floor that will be done in a, in a way that is interesting. Um, and then we also will have, uh, for our focus on VCs and startups, we'll have a funding founders program. It runs much like Hosted Buyer, where we match VCs and startups in curated meetings. Um, and again, a very successful program for us. As we you know, move through the, the four days of the event, each evening we'll also lean into um, our host city, which is Miami Beach. And we'll have a, a series of customer events. Um, both of our foundations will be hosting events. It's gonna be an important part of it under our health tech equity program. Uh, we'll have an industry night. We'll have um, you know, key entertainment. And we'll also try to lean into the Miami arts and music scene. Um, we really want people not to just feel that they're at Vive, but they're also in Miami Beach. So we will make uh, Miami Beach a, a key player in all that we do. Thanks, Rich. Um, you've really highlighted some of the, the key aspects of Vive uh, and sort of the philosophy that, that we bring to this around event design and, and really building it from the ground up around customer experience. Uh, one of the most common questions that we've heard uh, from industry when we first rolled out uh, Vive a couple of months ago is, how is Vive different from other industry events out there? I, I think um, you and I should spend a little time to, to talk a, a little bit through this. And if, if it's okay, I'll sort of start. Um, I think the best way to answer that question is to really reflect on what's happened across the industry really within the past uh, 15 to 18 months. And then think about what's needed going forward to better support uh, the entire health industry ac across a continuum of care and inclusive of many, many different types of stakeholders. Uh, nobody likes to talk about the pandemic, but, but I like to think in terms of the, the pandemic has, has taken, but it's also given, uh, it's given us some opportunities. What, what it has done for sure is it's demonstrated that the impossible is very much possible in healthcare. And what I mean by that is the entire health industry had to pivot quickly, uh, nearly on a dime and roll out advanced digital health technologies to better serve their frontline caregivers, to better serve their patients, and to better serve their entire communities. Um, and, and this happened not in months or years, which you know, the industry is very accustomed uh, to, but in days, uh, in weeks. And we don't foresee this slowing down. In fact, uh, I think we both agree, Chime and Health, that we, we foresee that healthcare will only continue to accelerate that pace of innovation and disruption. Uh, now, hopefully it doesn't require a pandemic to keep us uh, moving on, on that motivated pace. Uh, but I, I, I think we truly believe the days of slow, methodical, incremental change in healthcare are gone. And uh, in Vive, we'll embrace uh, the energy and enthusiasm that the entire industry has brought uh, to the table over the last 15 to 18 months. And really it's all about helping to connect uh, the common stakeholders 
uh, so that we can come together and adopt solutions to bridge, uh, not challenges, but also those digital health gaps. We know they exist out there and we need to do better as an industry. And the way to do that is together. Um, we want to recognize also uh, what's important about Vive is that that first quarter timing in the calendar year is incredibly important to our industry, certainly to uh, our partners out there in the, in the vendor community, if you will. And, and Vive is intended to not only just capture sort of that pent up demand and energy and enthusiasm, but um, do so in a non-traditional event, again, as we said, built really from the ground up, uh, from the customer experience perspective. And, yeah. and that really, you know, amongst all the things that you already shared about sort of the core aspects of time, I think really sets Vive apart from some of the industry, other industry events out there. But I know one of the questions that you've heard a lot is, hey, how is Vive different from the health event? So maybe we can sort of pivot to that and talk a little bit about how Vive differs from, from health. Yeah, I, I think uh, in, in one sense, we'll bring you know, key elements of health to the event in terms of approaches and personality, but it really comes down to the audience and, and, and the focus. Um, you know, I think at, at the end of the day, it's, it's our focus is on making a difference and, and not asking the same questions, but really focusing on some of the answers, right? Um, and, and that's important. So we, we do that with health, but uh, we do it with a different audience. And, you know, while both events focus on executives, senior executives and, and C-suite, um, you know, disruptors, influencers, leaders in health and care, um, health is more focused on emerging technologies. Um, the CEO, the chief innovation officer, the chief strategy officer, um, the business development and venture arms of companies and, and provider systems, um, significant number of accelerators and VCs in the investment community, um, you know, startups at, at, at any, at, at the last few healths between startups exhibiting and attending, we were over 900 uh, individual startups. Um, you know, we focus on areas where there we're looking at the future, where we're looking at investment, and where we're looking at, you know, as we mentioned, creating a better ecosystem. Um, you know, with Vive, our, some of the topics will, will obviously carry through. Um, the target audience will be a, a bit different, uh, will be a lot different. Uh, you know, we will also focus on, on C-suite and, and senior digital health executives. Uh, uh, you know, executives leading the way in digital transformation and healthcare, as well as other sectors. Um, you know, some of the examples there will do, you know, CIOs, of course, with Chime, uh, CMIOs and CNIOs, uh, chief technology officers. Uh, we'll also bring chief innovation officers there. Chief health officers will be an important uh, role. Um, uh, uh, that's a role showing up more in employers as well. Um, and we'll also focus on CEOs and CFOs driving strategic direction around digital transformation. So, you know, whereas the executives focus will be uh, similar with both events, the titles will be quite a bit different. Um, you know, the, the new event also keeps will engage the digital health community in its entirety. So we'll include those working, you know, in the healthcare system as well as those working um, in settings outside of healthcare where you know, health uh, data is becoming more important. Uh, employers play a key role in, in both events, actually. Um, and those working to safeguard or promote, you know, health among their employees or in the consumer sector. Um, and a lot of this has really come to light uh, as we've come, you know, or coming through the pandemic, uh, different approaches, different topics, and, you know, really a focus on efficiency, return on investment, and, uh, you know, getting down to business. Yeah, thanks for that, Rich. Um, you know, we in, in the early uh, communications about five, we've talked about the fact that the Chime Spring Forum is is a key element of a vibe, and it truly is. And and we've been asked if we could to talk a little bit more about what the Chime Spring Forum is and and how it sort of fits into the, the broader vibe uh, event, if you will. So the, the Chime Spring Forum annually brings together around a thousand members of Chime and executives from our Chime Foundation partners. And, and really the idea is that to bring them to get together, to share the, the latest thinking, to, to explore, discuss new trends. Uh, but really what it's all about is creating opportunities for engagement that really help us strengthen and forge relationships at the executive level. 
uh, the Chime members and the Chime Foundation executives really are some of the world's most prominent respected leaders and disruptors in, in healthcare, specifically health IT. And, uh, and, and that's not changing. The, the Chime Spring Forum will continue uh, to revolve around uh, those two target audiences. And, and again, I've talked a little bit about Chime and the Chime Foundation together. You know, we're seeking to, to leverage uh, the opportunity at the Spring Forum and then more broadly at Vive with so many uh, other key stakeholders uh, to collaborate, uh, not just exclusively at the executive level, there will certainly be certainly be opportunities like that uh, through this Chime Spring Forum. But look, the transformational change, right, that, that Vive is seeking to help facilitate and accelerate requires more than just a, a targeted uh, audience of executives in health IT. It requires bringing together the digital, uh, the entire digital health and care ecosystem. If we're really going to be successful, and we're going to advance both strategic and tactical, innovative applications to to address some of the biggest challenges we have in healthcare, uh, we've got to bring a number of of uh, stakeholders together in this. And so, yes, the Spring Forum really focuses on the executives at the health IT or digital health level. Uh, health brings in uh, a core audience of decision makers, including the broader C-suite from CEOs to CFOs and, and others. Uh, and again, uh, the Spring Forum is, is a key, um, key element uh, of Vive. Uh, it's really about optimal positioning also uh, from which uh, partners and, and sponsors and supporters can engage and grow uh, and, and uh, expand their access to a key target audience. We understand that. We're talking about the health IT decision makers, uh, specifically on the provider side. And as participants in Vive, uh, Chime members will impact ultimately the evolution of digital health and care, uh, informatics, uh, information, and engage in the integration of uh, the digital health and care community. But they can't do it alone. In order to be successful, we've got to bring these key stakeholders together. And that's really the key. Uh, here with Vive. Okay, next topic. I think we wanted to talk a little bit about target audience and we were starting to sort of segue into that um, in, in the conversations about, you know, what sets a, a health apart, what makes it unique. You know, who are you going to meet at Vive? I think in short, Rich and I have already touched on this a little bit. We're talking about the executives, the leaders, the decision makers, the innovators, the disruptors across industry. Uh, these are the key stakeholders who are going to transform the industry as we know it today and who are already doing that. Uh, so it's that leadership level, but also the most innovative and disruptive thinkers out there coming together in one place. Uh, so yes, uh, Vive will convene C-suite executives, not just in the health IT space, but much more broadly across the, the C-suite. Uh, we're going to bring health information technology and digital health and care executives, uh, but we're spanning all sectors of healthcare: so, uh, the provider side, the vendor side, the consumer sector, employee and employer health, all critical participants and stakeholders in this to be successful, to, to, to move the ball further, to transform health and care. But frankly, the way we as consumers are asking for and are requiring today is going to require that collaboration across those stakeholders. So yes, we're absolutely looking to engage the intersection, if you will, sort of the Venn diagram, if you can think of that in your head. We've got the time community, we've got the health community, there's so many more stakeholders. Uh, and, and again, um, this represents a significant audience opportunity for our partners, we recognize that. Rich, any thoughts you'd like to add? Uh... You know, I, I, I think you've covered it. I done it just a little bit in that, you know, I think we're very fortunate to have had the, the immediate response to this, this launch that we've had. Um, you know, to me, it says there's a need in the industry that has been growing. Um, I think, you know, the last 15 months have really brought a spotlight to that. And I think that with what we're bringing together and the early support that we've seen, um, hopefully, you know, on our website, you can see the, the first 40 or so companies that, that signed on. And I will say many before they knew what the name of the event was. So we, we felt good about the value prop that we had put together for them. Um, and, you know, I, again, it's, it, the event will only be as good as the people that support it. 
So we have great organizations organizing it and we have an amazing set. I think about, like I said, over 40 title sponsors and supporters. Um, and I should mention, Keith, there's also another, you know, over a hundred companies also that, that are requesting information on the event. Um, you know, I mean, in terms of the, the overall value prop, um, we've covered a lot of that. Um, what we're asking of, of everyone that comes to the event is, is come and focus on making a difference, um, answering the hard questions, uh, forging new relationships, uh, bringing your current customers and relationships to the event. Um, you know, our approach with our sponsors and attendees, and I know we have many companies on the webinar today, um, several hundred, by the way, that are interested in coming to the event, you know, we will look at companies going back to the relationship based approach that we both have. Um, we'll look at companies that come in with the smallest booth or the largest sponsorships very much the same way. Um, we want everyone to use the event as they see fit um, that meets their needs. And, you know, we realize there are a lot of opportunities out there for companies to consider throughout the year. And Chime and Health have been very lucky in, in that our core products that we already offer, um, you know, have done very well. And we think Vive is going to be kind of an, an addition to that. So, yeah. And, and Rich, I, I, you know, I, there's an opportunity here. I'm looking at some of the questions to connect both the target audience question with the value prop question, right? At, at the end of the day, uh, I've been asked this, you've been asked this, how many attendees Sure. might you estimate would come to the, the inaugural Vive event? And, and I right. think the best answer to that is, look, our, our, our goal here is quality over quantity. It's, it's looking at the, the right level of target audience, uh, executive decision makers, disruptors, innovators, et cetera. Uh, and, and that number uh, may be smaller than, than some of the industry events that we're more familiar with, but that's okay. It's about the quality of the conversations, the quality of the engagements and the quality of the relationships that you build yeah at this level. And, you know, Keith, to pick up on that, I think what we found with health is uh, the focus is really on the convening aspect, not the trade show floor, not the, uh, you know, numbers in terms of attendance, but the quality. Um, we find that once events get too large, you start to lose your, especially your C-suite executives. And that's really the premise that health was founded on. It, it's, it's the third in a, an iteration of different industry events that came to be because of a couple of things. Um, you know, content had gotten boring, uh, executives had disappeared, uh, senior executives, I should say. Um, you know, engagements were not as um, natural and as easy as they were at, at larger industry events. And health picked up on this, you know, following, like I said, two other industry events that were started by our founder and really tried to deliver something that met those needs. Um, this is not a trade show. This is a, an industry event and a platform that we feel will bring the right people together. Um, you know, numbers are important, of course, if you're making an investment in an event, uh, but you know, our path with health was we started out at just under 4,000. Um, our 19 event, which was the last in-person event, um, was just under 7,000. And we didn't look, we don't look to grow too much beyond that. I, I can see Vive following a very similar format, um, given that our focus is similar in terms of bringing together the right people. Yeah, thanks Rich. Uh, it's actually a really nice segue into, uh, you know, the, the next question that's very common that we've heard. And it's really about, tell us a bit more about thought leadership. Uh, how can we engage uh, sort of the vendor community from a thought leadership perspective? And, uh, because we know uh, that community brings significant thought leadership to the table. And as you shared, this is not another trade show. This is an opportunity to come together, to learn, share, and grow together. And thought leadership opp opportunities will be plentiful at Vive. There's no doubt about that. We, we've discussed the Signature Time Spring Forum. Uh, and that will be a key element in, in Anchor Event at Vive, but we'll also be looking to engage with our partners uh, to deliver unique programs uh, in programming, content, uh, including half, uh, half day and, and full day workshops, uh, lunch and sessions, uh, lots of opportunities to engage uh, our, our vendor community as partners in bringing together the right conversations at the right levels at Vive. 
Uh, Vive will also feature a robust digital health conference with content from, again, a, a wide community of thought leaders and experts and decision makers and uh, many of the other target audiences we've, we've already talked about. You know, education will be taking place throughout the entire conference. By no means is it uh, located just in the Chime Spring Forum uh, or tucked off into a corner. Uh, that's not what Vive is all about. Um, and we'll, we'll have uh, tremendous opportunities. Now, the secret sauce, because you all um, uh, carved out some time in your very busy schedules to come here is what I can tell you is we're gonna open a call for presentations very soon. Okay. We're targeting, audience, uh, targeting August of this year, but stay tuned, there's plenty more to come. And again, tremendous opportunities to engage uh, our sponsors and, and partners uh, from a thought leadership perspective as well. Yeah, Keith, on the content side, I add just a little bit to that as well. Um, our goal here is an integrated approach. That goes back to the attendee experience. Um, you know, versus sitting in a pre-conference for a full day or, or sitting in a series of sessions brought to you by a partner um, of ours at Vive is, is one thing we're looking at. We'll also have impact and mission-based content from our foundations um, through our health equity program. You know, the, uh, Keith mentioned our, our partner content. We think it's important to bring the best and the brightest to this event. And we have partners that will do that, that will augment our content. And then we'll have a general session or main stage that will bring, um, you know, our really our, our keynotes and our, our top thought leaders from across the ecosystem. And that's something that both Health and Chime at our events are, are very good at. But at the end of the day, the focus is to not repeat content, to not bring speakers that you see at every other event and to not, you know, again, not ask the same questions without answers that you keep hearing at other events. So, you know, we're, 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 we're trying to up the game, the content game across the event. So, um, you know, we're here because we want to talk about sponsor opportunities as well. We know there's tremendous interest um, uh, from that community. They want to hear more. They want to learn more, Rich. So, so, uh, and I see we've got some questions stacking up. But maybe you could talk a little bit about um, some of the sponsor opportunities available. Sure. For Vive. So it's you know we break it down into some key areas. Um, we offer different entry points for sponsors. Um, you know, again, meeting them where they are, looking at a budget that they're comfortable with, and an activation that will be meaningful to their time with us at Vive. Um, you know. Look, even if a company wants to attend the event the first year, we're fine with that. So that's your easiest entry point, right? Um, you know, next, going back to the hosted buyer program, we do allow companies to just buy the hosted buyer meetings. And that way you can come to the event. You may not be ready to exhibit or sponsor, and that's fine. You start out with hosted buyer. Um, the next level up is going on to the exhibit floor. We'll have booths of you know varying sizes up to probably six to 900 square feet. And we'd like to cap it at that. Um, if a company doesn't want to bring their own booth, we'll offer custom solutions uh, as, as packages. We'll offer themed pavilions. And we also offer turnkey areas on the floor where companies can just activate. Um, this, we really started out was especially important for startups at health. And what we found is there were a lot of medium-sized companies that really just wanted to come and focus more on customer engagement, maybe in a meeting space, um, but have a small presence on the floor. So that was always a, a good opportunity. We're gonna bring that to Vive. Um, of course, there are meeting spaces of all types uh, that we'll be offering, whether it's where you wanna do your main presentation, um, if you want a small go-to place on the floor. Um, we'll also offer, we like really, um, interesting um, thematic or you know company branded activations. So throughout the public space and throughout the expo floor, we'll have these. Now some of these are, are fun areas that companies can sponsor. You know, at Health we do a barber shop. We do we're doing a gaming area. We do things like that. So the the attendees having a good time in between all their business meetings. Um, and then some of it is uh, you know has a purpose to it. Um, health equity, I'm sure we'll have activations there uh, at the event that will lean into that. So, you know, that creative approach at the event, which is um, good for a company to showcase itself in a different way, but also adds to the attendee experience is something that is important. Um, you know, much like any event, we'll have a lot of the branding opportunities throughout the event. 
Uh, the health equity program is an area, you know, touching both on content and sponsorship and then also mission based approach. This is a program that brings together uh, and it's a sponsor program uh, that brings together companies that are interested in that topic that can really activate what we call before, during and after the event. Uh, before the event, it's really a thought leadership approach um, in the form of, uh, you know, podcasts, blogs. Uh, at, and branding, of course. At the event, we'll have programming that ties directly into the health equity approach, and we're framing that out now. Uh, there will be branding opportunities around the event, networking opportunities, and then we'll tie an evening event to that. So all of that is uh, sponsorship focused. Uh, in terms of customer activations, we really want companies to come to Vive and look at this as one of their key industry events of the year. And, and we know that, you know, in doing that, customer engagement is really important. So we'll work with companies to create really interesting engagements on their own that they'll have invite their customers to. Uh, we'll have evening events that I mentioned where companies will have opportunities to support that. Uh, we'll have branding throughout the expo. Um, we'll also look at different networking opportunities during the event that companies can sponsor. So where we, you know, will meet people is if you want to come in in a very straightforward, easy way, we got you covered there. And we have companies that are coming in saying they'd really like to support a lot of different things. And, you know, the goal, I think, at the end of the day here is leaning back into that custom approach for companies. And we, we don't want anyone to... Um, have to only choose from a list of opportunities. So we'll offer that list, but we'll also really focus on custom engagements. Um, we want companies to spend their time engaging with their customers versus standing around in a booth. So that's kind of our approach. Um, we've got a great uh, collaborative approach actually with the Chime team. This has been interesting, I think for both of us, we're bringing a lot of our, uh, the, our, our health approach and our Chime approach together in one event. Uh, we've also brought our sales teams together. So we have, uh, you know, we've, well, it's been, I guess, as Keith said, started a, a couple of years ago, but it's been a good um, start for the sales teams. And what's also good is coming together with clients that we share, both at Chime and Health, and for them to see this collaborative approach. And it's a very, um, I think easy entry point for them, regardless of which group they've dealt with in the past or if they've dealt with both of us. So, Yeah, uh, you're spot on, Rich. And, and unsurprisingly, I, we're already seeing the same team synergy that we've seen in some of our smaller collaborations. But you just touched on a really interesting point that, that I think is worth um, uh, talking a bit more about, which is the opportunity for Chime and Health to come together to, to better serve and support our mutual customers, and we do have mutual customers. And the opportunity here is, is to work together in partnership. Again, this, this idea that together we're stronger. And we're already seeing uh, many signs of that, many opportunities to better serve our, our unique customers in a, in a partnering way. Um, we have a couple of questions that have already started to pop in here. And, and uh, I know we wanted to save about 15 minutes for these questions. Uh, the first one was uh, about the sponsorship perspective. Uh, perspectives, yes. of course, is that ready? Where do we go to find that? Tell us more. Okay, so we are about 10 days out from that. Um, what I think everyone will see with that is we take a very different approach. Um, so it, it will be a very inclusive piece of all the things that we're offering as, as the two organizations come together. Um, so we're, we're 10 days out. Excellent. Um, uh, another follow-up question. Can you talk a bit more about what the exhibitor experience will be? What do we mean when we say meet the attendee where they are? Right. Okay. Um, attendees uh, spend valuable time going to events. Uh, we want an attendee that comes to health to be able to engage in a very efficient way and a very direct way with the sponsors. And what we try to do is, you know, again, going back to the, the networking experiences, the sponsor lounges, the meeting spaces that we'll be creating, um, the interactive areas on the floor. Um, they're all important for engaging the attendee, but we also have an attendee that's a senior executive or C-suite that may have a very different need. So we also want to look at that. We'll have you know, executive events offsite. We'll have evening events. We'll have um, you know, private meeting spaces. 
we, we want to be able to understand the constituency that we're serving and make sure that we're working both with our sponsors and our partners to meet those needs. So attendees, you know, they come to Vive, they enjoy Vive and they want to come back the next year. And, you know, Keith, I'll mention one other thing quickly and that is we had a lot of companies that were focusing on coming to health um, over the past year that we brought in. And it, what's good to see is, you know, in terms of meeting companies where they are, um, we've been able to work out a great approach where company comes to health with one focus and meets our audience there. And there we're talking to them about Vive and we're creating a very different approach and meeting the audience at Vive. So in that sense, we want to make sure that companies know what they're signing up for. We understand what they're looking for and we can put these experiences together. Yeah, well, well said. Uh, I, I see another question here uh, really from, uh, well, representing our industry association partners out there. Um, and yes, we've mentioned uh, themes and in, 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 in content opportunities for association partners to engage at Vive. Uh, can you tell us more? What I'll say is, is probably along with Rich and the sponsorship perspectives, we're about 10 days out, uh, right. but we do, we do have a, a catalog of opportunities, if you will, uh, that we'll, we'll be uh, soon uh, ready and able to have those conversations with our association partners. We, we know there's interest, we're having some of those conversations today, uh, and we really wanna make sure that we've got a, a creative opportunities, a suite of creative opportunities for engagement. Uh, again, reflecting on content and, uh, and bringing the right, uh, the right stakeholders together. So more to come on that. And uh, I think the questions are rolling in, Rich. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, does your target audience number include sponsors and attendees? Mm -hmm. And can you be a bit more specific about what the differentiators are for this event? Well, I think the first part of that question gets back to, you know, how many people do you think are, are actually coming? Uh, we, we haven't discussed externally uh, a specific goal. I, I think the example that you gave from health mm -hmm. starting around 4,000 uh, and growing to uh, around 10,000. Again, we're not so worried uh, about the number, although, uh, you know, the opportunity for Vive is probably going to be somewhat similar to health. It's all about the quality of the attendee and, and then the, the quality of the attendee experience. So uh, I know we're trying to get pinned down on a number here. I'm at, least, I'm at least narrowing it down to a range, if you will, to give and us a little- that, To answer the, the first part of the question, yes, the overall number does include um, the full mix of attendees, whether yeah. they're from sponsor, uh, sponsoring companies, exhibiting companies, or attendees. Thanks, Rich. The second part of that question again was, was can we be a bit more specific about the differentiators for this event? We, we've talked about our, a number of them, including sort of the philosophy uh, in, in our approach to Vive, uh, focusing on a creative event design uh, that really focuses on the customer experience. We've, we've talked a bit about the target audience as a key differentiator, mm -hmm. uh, really the intersection between health and chime and the communities that we bring to the table. Uh, with an opportunity to engage an even broader um, uh, leadership uh, ecosystem across, again, uh, providers, payers, consumer health sector, investors, uh, em employee and employer health. Um, anything else you feel that maybe we missed, Rich, that we should add to that? No, um, I, I think we're good. And what we'll also be doing in the the uh, uh, prospectus that or the sales catalog that we're putting out is we'll give uh, a lot of this information there in terms of the overview of the audience, um, as well as who should exhibit and sponsor. Right? We want to. It's not just a, a catalog of offerings. It's a piece that helps you make a decision. Yep. And with that, I'm not seeing any further questions. Just right. double checking here to make sure we haven't missed anybody's question out there. I'll make sure that we've answered everybody's question. Well, this is the beginning. This is not the end. This may be the end of this webinar, but this is the beginning of, of the conversation. I, I think what we can pledge to, uh, uh, to all of the uh, sponsors, first of all, thank you for putting your trust in Vive. We appreciate that very much. And to our uh, interested and prospective uh, partners and sponsors out there, more to come more conversations to be had, more that uh, we, will, we will bring and share about Vive. 
Uh, but we invite those conversations with you as well. Uh, feel free to reach out to, to Rich or I. We've got a whole team uh, behind us that is happy and ready and willing to engage and have those conversations with you. Great. Thanks, Keith. Looking forward to the next uh, 10 months. Absolutely. And with that, I think we can go to thank yous and, and wrap this up. Uh, on behalf of Chime, uh, we certainly appreciate your time and, and interest. Uh, today in Vive. Uh, we look forward again to continue these conversations with you. And uh, again, I'd be remiss if I didn't say how much we greatly value our partnership with health uh, and the opportunity that we have here together with Vive to serve and support the entire digital health and care. I couldn't agree more, Keith. Uh, I think it was meant to be, and it's definitely time for this. And we look forward to delivering something that really meets everyone's needs.